right so this next piece is the Shein square neck zipper back pu tank top in chocolate i love this top <laughs> but you can call me Holly J. And today we are going to be doing a Shein fall try on haul. I've been missing the try on hauls. I've been missing the action and fashion content as a whole. So I'm really excited to do this. I got a lot of pieces and I'm kind of ready to flex because you know, where am I going? But I'm going to bring it to YouTube. That's what I'm going to do. So if you're interested in seeing the things that I got, just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start with this green dress. Oh my gosh, what is the name of it? First thing that I got is this Shein Slant Pocket Cable Knit Dress in this beautiful green. I saw it and I fell in love with it. I actually have worn it, wore it yesterday to dinner with my friend. I wore it with like some white canvas pumas and like just gold jewelry, real cute, real casual. You can even dress this up. Um, the material is awesome. Like, that's one thing that I've noticed with Shein, although it's fast fashion, they do a really good job of using material other than polyester. That's something that I noticed, which is why I will stand Shein as probably the, the only fast fashion brand that I'm like standing right now. But anyway, that's besides the point. So yeah, like it has the slant pockets in the front. Like I say, it could be real casual, but also can dress this up. Um, I absolutely love it. Okay, so the next thing I got is this two-piece set. It's like in a nude, and it has like a jogger pants with it. And I really like how it like fits to the body, but the pants are breathable. And I've been trying to like get myself a little bit of like cute but comfy things because I tend to get like dressy going out stuff and they don't get used. But yeah, this like two piece is made of like a very stretchy but breathable ma material. Um, I really don't know what to kind of call it, but like I said, it's kind of stretchy. It kind of is form fitting on this top. And then the bottoms are really breathable, but like still like flattering and not just you know saggy sweatpants and i'm really loving this color i will say i'm kind of obsessed with brown and nude for the fall so i definitely got this in nude i think they have a whole bunch of colors in it too but i'm digging this i'm feeling this i'm, I'm liking it so the next thing i have is these plaid high rise straight leg pants and I shop on Shein a, a little bit, you know? So I know that these are kind of called tartan pants. They're like those fall. <coughs> like those fall plaid straight leg pants. Sometimes they come in a thicker material. Sometimes they're just like regular materials. So I got me a pair of those. For the pants. I got this like navy blue plaid cream thing going on they got the little wooden button going on they got pockets has belt loops um they come to about the ankle i really like these i even like it with this top definitely thinking to kind of wear these more dressed down like with like a sweater oversized sweater some canvas sneakers or maybe even loafers like these could come in handy for if and when we return back to the office. So I think they are transitional. It's a, I think these are a transitional piece from casual outings and even work kind of office setting. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this zip back sheer lace bustier tube top. I've tried bustier lace tops from Shein before and I didn't really get the sizing right and everything. So I'm trying again with this cream one because it's super cute. And I hope my boobs aren't exposed, but let's see what it's talking about. Again, I may have got the sizing wrong because like I have these 34 Ds. So I have to get like a large for the bodice bustier part to fit, but then it doesn't always fit to my body, but I'm not that mad at this. Obviously, and obviously these are, as, this is my um, bra straps. This is not 
come with this it's strapless I'm not totally upset at this because we are headed into the colder months so I feel like I could layer this on top of maybe like a white turtleneck dress and then just let like the corset you know pop on the, on the outside with me wearing a bra under the dress and everything and hope so that could be like a look okay so the next thing I got is this plunging net knot front solid dress so typically I wouldn't buy anything like this because my boobs don't sit on my chest this stuff is made for little boobs or like you know fake boobs that sit on their chest or like just people that are God's favorite and their boobs sit on their chest perfectly perky but shameless plug but i have been using this high breast lifting tape and it's changed the game baby and um i'm in there like swimwear with this one i don't have it on right now but i can now pop out like all the girls pop out okay so i'm giving it to you real raw and natural right now but when i put my tape on okay you're not ready this is the black high front solid dress you've seen this look before i truly adore this look and as i've mentioned to you before i always felt like i couldn't wear it but now i can so i got me one i got me one in black cute you know a little hint of sexy but everything is pretty much you know still classy you know we just give a little cleavage a collar top at the top and then it buttons at the wrist so very like form fitting and then this little thing right here kind of creates shape to like cinch the waist in so yeah it's very cute very sexy it's actually not too short either like it's like a high low kind of dress so i think very cute so this next piece is the ruche drawstring knot tie-dye bodycon dress and as i mentioned i'm really into the brown and new for fall like i even want some like cow nails that are nude and brown that's a different conversation but yeah like i'm really into the brown and nude this fall and it seems like it is in too so i got this when i saw it i was like ooh, that's like a mesh between the two things that I'm really enjoying right now. So I have this just little ruche dress. It's nice and form fitting. And then it has a little ruching on the side. So I believe we could make this shorter. Yeah, we could. What it looks like when you kind of like pull the sides up, but you have like the control to make it as short as you like, or if you want it to be longer you can kind of loosen that up but i think this is cute it's definitely something that you could dress up or dress down um i think i would go more the casual route but it's definitely cute so you could go to a nice something like maybe a party or a little gathering it's nicer than just hanging out i think you could even this could be like a mall fit you know i think so Ooh, that thing dang it. That thing dang it. <laughs> okay, so the next piece is this drawstring knot rib knit dress. So the first thing about this dress that I love was the color. I was like, ooh, this is so pretty. Um, and this dress and the last dress, I typically wouldn't go for rib knit material because they normally do it in like with cotton. So it you it doesn't really take a shape. And I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but like normally like rib knit to me doesn't do anything for you. Yes, it might like kind of camouflage any flaws or imperfections, but I just feel like rib knit with cotton material really doesn't do anything for you. So these last two pieces are very stretchy with the rib knit material. And I like that. Like I think that those two married together is perfect so same idea as the last one definitely the same fit um just a tank top version we can pull the side up you know we can make it shorter if we trying to go out you know what i'm saying or if we just in the mall we can kind of let it be longer you know what i'm saying we ain't trying to snatch people daddies up in the mall you know but um if we was out and about you know trying to snatch a daddy we could do that too so yeah so basically subconsciously 
I'm really liking these ruched dresses because I have yet another one in nude, the Shein drawstring side ruched detail bodycon dress. They're kind of just staples as I mentioned, like you can't really go wrong with this and they're pretty flattering on just about anyone. Um, and like I said, you can dress up, dress down because of the length you can choose. I will say this one's like a little bit of a different material. It probably has a little bit more cotton blend in it, but it still has that um, stretchy material to it where it's like form fitting and flattering in that way. So I really like this one. Like I said, I'm kind of obsessed with nude right now. So I'm a fan of this. Okay, so next is this drop shoulder high low hem plaid shirt dress. Man, when I tell you when they name these things, they give them the longest title. I think it's for SEO reasons to be honest, but they smart, so I ain't gonna say nothing. But yes, I really like this piece. I really like transitional things, things that can be used for multiple reasons and multiple wears. So this can be addressed as mentioned. Um, it kind of has that like shoulder pad feel to it, but it doesn't have shoulder pads in it. It's just like the shape of the dress. Um, it kind of has like a puffer sleeve towards the wrist and it buttons all the way up with the natural buttons. I kind of have it buttoned up high, but like you could kind of undo a little bit for some cleavage, but you could also utilize this as like a cardigan or like something to put over your shoulders with maybe jeans like a white top or like a crop top so i really like that about this piece it can be used in a lot of ways i could probably tie it around my waist i could probably do like an off the shoulder look if i wanted to you know you can get creative with things like this so i really like this piece and it's brown as i mentioned i'm really feeling nude and brown so this has that feel to it you could definitely do like some boots with this too like like actually probably like um actually probably like ankle boots like a yeezy style kind of boot in a nude or something would be really cute so i'm just i'm just painting the picture for y'all i'm just i'm just uh But yeah, I'm just painting the picture for y'all to see how you can utilize this. I will say this this um, material could get hot kind of fast, but I mean, we are entering into the colder season, so it does serve a purpose. But just standing here, I'm kind of a little hot. Like, I'm kind of smelling my underarms a little bit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> These next two pieces I have to show you are this top, this rib knit solid tank top in this nude with like brown stitching. Okay, you can see the pattern here. And then I have these two-toned sweatpants. So here's the top, which I really think is super cute. It's simple, but really cute with like the boob kind of cut out, bustier kind of cut out. So just be a little feminine. Um, I think that's really cute, especially if you wear this with no bra. I think that's adorable. It's like this tank top kind of, um, not a crop top, like right above the hip um and nude and it kind of mimics you know just regular tank tops from walmart a little bit because it has like the ribbed material about it but like i said it's like really cute and feminine i really like that and i had got this to pair with these sweatpants which i don't know how to feel about yet because i think i got them a little too big just trying to be on the safe side but um, I don't know how to feel about them. I also don't know how I feel about them with this shirt. I feel like on camera, I look cute. Um, so maybe it's kind of growing on me, but I really thought these sweatpants were really cool. Like they have both of the colors I'm super interested in right now. And I just like this vibe where I was like, okay, I can get like a nice new top to match or even go a little bit more dressed up. That's why I got like that cream bustier thing maybe i could layer like a long sleeve turtleneck and put the bustier on so the girls have been dressing up joggers a lot um kind of in the year 2020 so i was thinking that along those lines for this look as well um comment down below like are y'all feeling these sweatpants because 
I don't know, I'm a little iffy about it, but let me know in the comments down below because they kind of are growing on me and maybe this look is a look. So let me know in the comments down below. So this next piece is the Shein Square Neck Zipper Back PU Tank Top in Chocolate. I love this top. Like, for one, it's brown. And then it's like that Kim Kardashian, you know, leather look. She loves these type of tops. And I actually love them too. So I got my hands on this one. It's really cute with my chocolate oh my gosh this might be my favorite piece and it's just a top but like I just can see myself doing so much with it and just like really serving the look because it's so cute so it zips in the back um it's like a tank top style not a racer back um so yeah it has a zipper in the back like I said so you just zip yourself right in and you're good to go and it's kind of like a little bit above your belly button. So it's sort of crop top, but not completely. On the bottom, I have these light wash high-waisted strap hem jeans. Girl, when I tell you these jeans are so cute, they are so cute. And I was so happy that they fit because I've done a Shein try and haul once before and I had to like readjust with the bottoms because it's, I had to kind of size myself up for them just because of what they make their jeans out of and they don't always have enough stretch. But I will say Shein has done a really good job of like updating the sizing chart. Now they'll they'll like even mention things if like they have like a stretch meter and they'll like say this is not that stretchy or is very stretchy. Like should you size down, should you size up? Like I love it. So that has helped a lot. So I actually was able to purchase some jeans and these ones are bad and they fit. I'm able to wear it with this shirt necessarily. It comes out a little too low because these are super high waist. But these jeans are so cute. They have the little strap like tie at the bottom but that like comes on the jeans. I think they are so cute. Such a statement. They make a statement. They fit well. Like, okay, they give the booty enough room to be a booty. It's not too tight. I hate when pants like make the butt look flat, like pancake. Ugh, these are so cute. Come with belt loops. Very high waisted, like true high waist jean. But it's kind of like that loose fitted kind of look. And then the bottom is just too cute. Like, such a like nice addition to a pair of jeans. And if you've been subscribed to my channel long enough, you may know that like, that's kind of my thing when it comes to bottoms and jeans. I like for them to have something about them that makes them stand out. Like, I like my pants and my bottoms to like have character. And it's little stuff like this, um, as far as like the tie strap at the bottom. Like, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I gotta have these, you know? Like, they're like pieces to have in your closet. And they're not just a jean, like, they actually serve a look. I love finding gems like this. So these are probably my favorite two pieces. They can't go together, but separately, like these are some of my favorite finds. Next two items on the list are this zip up split sleeve top in cream, nude, camel, whatever you wanna call it. You already know what color I chose, which is this really cute zipper top. It's made out of the same material of those rib knit dresses. It holds everything in really nice you know you don't really have to wear a bra because it's like form fitting i love the slits on the sleeves love the color um and then it zips on the bottom too so it's one of those like where it can be in the middle kind of tops um i really like this shirt i am very pleased with this shirt I think it's a nice addition to my wardrobe. It's cute, it can be sexy, but it's also, it can be casual. 
um, but it has character. All my clothes have to have character. That's just what I need you to understand about my fashion sense. My clothes have to have character. Like they can be a simple piece, but then something has to be doing something. Then on the bottom, I have these high waist slit hem straight leg jeans. Basically what they're trying to say is those trendy jeans with the little slits on the side where you can kind of like see your boots or your shoes from, from like up underneath your jeans, but they're straight legs. I found some on Shein in black. I had to get them because these jeans are super trendy, so cute. I love what they do. They have character, I'm all for it. They're long enough, like I'm 5'4 with long legs and these are like touching the ground. So they're long enough, you're not getting a high water. They're high waisted. They have the one little button here. They have belt straps and a zipper pockets just nice and black so these are gonna get used a lot because I mean you can't go wrong with black on the bottom and then they have this really cool feature like with the hem so knowing myself I'm probably gonna wear these babies out but we're gonna try not to because I don't want them to fade and all that stuff but I really like these two pieces especially these bottoms and this top okay so my next two pieces i say that every time like that's like my transition like i'm sorry if you're sick of it because i'm sick of me got into this place where i don't want to pass up the chance to get graphic t-shirts because more than anything you know when you're running errands or you're headed to the mall you just need something to kind of put on to look put together you know fill yourself a little bit but like cute comfy and that's definitely my go-to so i try to keep my eye out for different graphic t-shirts and i've kind of come across the fact that i really like how shein does their their graphic t-shirts they don't just use pure cotton so they tend to last longer they hold their color they hold their shape and i like how they've kind of moved towards that and as you can see it has like a stretch to it and everything so that's what I mean by like the quality and the um, fabric that they're using and this is just a nice taupe graphic t-shirt I kind of got a little oversized um, not too oversized but this would be really cute with those black jeans I have them on right now and it just says Los Angeles you know just a little vibe I really like it you know just to show you guys if you're also on the hunt for some graphic t-shirts i definitely recommend shein for graphic t-shirts for the reasons i mentioned so check them out so here's the second one it's like a gray same idea this one doesn't have as much stretch but it's still made out of some kind of blend where this isn't going to lose its shape lose its color you're still going to have this same graphic tee after a few wears that's what i'm telling you that i love about shein's graphic t-shirt so this one just says so this one just says dragons in phoenix and then on the back is actual imagery of a dragon in phoenix and i just thought it just kind of stood out to me it has the red lettering it gives me kind of tomboy cute comfy vibes so i got this and it's gray so i'll find a way to use it no no worries there okay and this last clothing item that i got is this ruche drawstring knot pu leather skirt in chocolate okay it's a color theme i know I typically don't really go for skirts often because they don't always fit me the best like the back will kick out because of my butt or it won't come up over my hips so i kind of stay clear of skirts but i decided to give this one a go and it's really cute this is chocolate leather pleather skirt it's like really close to the knee probably like mid thigh with these ruche things on it they don't necessarily do anything i think you could just probably like tie it for a little bit of like a feminine flair and give them a reason to be there but they have like two in the back two in the front i think this is cute it's not something i would normally go for as i mentioned i don't really shop skirts that often but i feel like it had enough character and i really like the leather and the color so I figured, you know, I could find a way to kind of rock this. Hopefully, I hope this wasn't a bad vibe, but I think it looks good and is very well made. Definitely have room. 
Final items I have to show you are two purses. They're both like Bottega Veneta inspired bags. One is this brown one um, with this handle and it opens just like a little pop kind of satchel kind of thing, like sack kind of thing I meant to say. And it has a strap that you could put on here so you could kind of wear it cross body if you wanted to. It's a bigger medium kind of size bag so it has like a lot of space. It's like, yeah, it looks like it has a lot of space and it does. Um, and then it has like a zipper in here and like two pockets. So you can carry a lot in this and it's really cute. And you can kind of like tuck it if you wanted to. Like I said, you can wear it as a crossbody. It has a handle, you can wear it on a handle. It has the gold detailing. I think it's super cute. Flat little bottom so when you sit it down, it has a shape. Had to get it. And then on top of that, I got me a cream one. Um, I just really like the shape of these bags. This one doesn't have a handle, so it's strictly like clutch style. And then it has a strap if you want to do crossbody. Even in this smaller version, yes, I've already worn this. It holds so much stuff. Like I still have room here, I have shades. My phone can fit in here, I have my coin bag. Like it holds a lot and this is like a smaller one. So this one I really like for like handheld clutch style, super cute. That's all that I have for today in this fall Shein try on haul. Comment down below, let me know what was your favorite piece, whether it was uh, the purses, the bottoms, like the jeans, the skirt, the two piece set, like let me know. Also let me know if I should keep those two tone sweatpants because I don't know, but I think I'm feeling them. For my subscribers that have been with me all year, I love y'all. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna have content coming. And if you keep coming back, you need to just subscribe because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.